Star, 1968, Algebra 1, Part 1 by Professor Alfredo G. Alvarez, Jr. 11, 11, 23, solve linear equations, use graphene calculator. All right, let's say you need money right now for college. My Margie's Mexican Cafe open 24 hours, great boss, great food, great work. But let's say you don't need money right now. Nah, you don't need money. Let's get out of here. All right, so let's start this. All right, first thing, um, your best friends of 10, best always, right? Is zero plus 10 a 10, right? Is that right? No, you're not sure? Okay, that's fine. You can get your machine, one of these machines, graphing calculators, and show that that works, right? Zero plus 10, so zero plus 10, it is 10, you see that? Yay. Next one too? Okay, sure. One plus nine is 10. How about this one? Two plus eight is 10. You see how I'm doing these numbers here? You can use graph and calculate if you're not real sure. Numbers are too big for you guys. Okay, it's all right, you can use this. So now, so again, three plus seven is 10, four six is 10, five five is 10. 5, 5 is 10, 6 and 4 is 10, 7, 3 is 10, 8, 2 is 10, 9, 1, 10, 10 is 0 is 10. All right, now, Shin Shark say, feed me. All right, so now let's let's go to the next one. All right, it says x plus 7 equals 10, x plus 0 equals 10. We're going to solve all these equations, and I'm going to show you how to solve these, okay? We have 12 questions there. And sharks sleep at night, okay? And there's more equations right here. X plus 10 equals 10. X plus 6 equals 10. X plus 2 equals 10. X plus 5 equals 10. Wow. 20 questions. Shark say, feed me. So now, let's solve the first one. Okay, ready? All right. Solve X plus 7 equals 10. So the way you're going to do this is you're going to subtract from both sides. See? This plus 7, go minus 7, minus 7. And guess what's going to happen? This 7 will cancel. You have X left over. And 10... Minus 7 is 3. Now, is that right? Does that work? If we put this back in here, is that going to work? Let's see. Let's try it. Put the 3 back in there. 3 plus 7. Take the parentheses off. That's 3 plus 7. Is that going to be 10? Yes. So they match. 10 equals 10. You're not sure about that? Okay, fine. I'll show you in the calculator. All right. Put the number. Parentheses 3. Like that. And then plus 7. Once you put it in there, you can let the machine do it. See this blue right here, the graphing calculator? You can let it do it itself, and it's going to say 10. So does it match? Yes, it works. Okay. Okay, next one. X plus 0 is 10. So I just subtract minus 0 minus 0. It's not going to change anything, so you're going to have this is gone. So you have X equals 10. Does that work? Let's put it back here. Is 10 plus 0 going to give you 10? Take parentheses off. 10 plus 0 is 10. Yeah, it looks like it works. Use the graphing calculator? Sure. Okay, let's do that. So parentheses 10 plus 0, just like this. Does that work? Yes, it's 10. Works. Okay. Go to the next question. X plus 5 is 10. Again, what are we going to do? Minus 5, minus 5, both sides. So then the answer is, gives are gone. So X equals what? 5. Does that work? Is 5 in there in this one here? Equation, does it work? 5 plus 5 is, take the off, 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 equals 10, yep. Okay, we're well, not sure. Okay, that's fine. We're doing a calculator. That's okay. 5, with parentheses, 5 plus 5. Is that going to work? 10. Yes, this is 10, and that's 10. They're equal. The equation is correct. Lunch time, says the chart. Okay. X plus 9 equals 10. We're going to do... The opposite of plus 1, plus 9 is minus 9, minus 9. These are gone, so x equals 1. Does that work? Put the 1 in there, up there, right here. So 1 plus 9, 1 plus 9 is that 10? Yes, and you can use the graphing calculator, of course. If you want to use this machine, use it. That will help you. All right, so now next one. x plus 1 equals 10. Minus 1, minus 1. So this time it's going to say x equals what? 9. Does that work? Put it back in the formula. What the equation right there? 9 plus 1, is that going to give you 10? 9 plus 1 is 10. Yes, that works too. So Shark says, foot, please. Uh, X plus 4 equals 10. What are you going to do? 
minus 4 minus 4, so x equals 6. Is that going to work up there in the equation? I don't know. Try it. Put 6 in here. Put this, take it off. 6 plus 4. Is that is 6 plus 10? Yes. So 10 matches 10. Yes, it works. All right. x plus 3 equals 10. So minus 3, minus 3 on both sides. So now we have x equals 7. Does that work? Put it in there. 7 plus 3 right here for the x. 7 plus 3. Is that going to give you 10 to bring this off? 10 equals 10. Yes, that works too. Sharks eat only in the day. Remember that. Not at night. You can swim at night. X plus 10 equals 10. Hmm. So minus 10 minus 10. Zero. Does that work? Put a zero in there. So zero plus 10 pushes off. Zero plus 10 is 10. Yeah, that works. It is 10. So it's zero. In there, works. X plus 8 equals 10. Minus 8 minus 8. So X equals 2. Is that going to work? Try it in there. So 2 plus 8. Let's see. 2 plus 8 is 10. Yeah. 10 equals 10. Again, it works. Again, you can use a graphing calculator if you want to. All right. X plus 6 equals 10. So we're going to do minus 6 minus 6. These are gone. So that's going to give you 4. Does that work? Put the 4 back in there. 4 plus 6. So 4 plus 6 brings this off. is 10. Matches again. Yes. Join me for lunch, says the shark. X plus 2 equals 10. So what I'm going to do is Minus 2 minus 2, so x equals 8. Is that going to work? Put back in there, see what happens. 8 plus 2, push this off. 8 plus 2 is 10. Yep, that works too. Okay, you can always check your equation, see if it works. x plus 5 is 10, so minus 5 minus 5, so x equals 5. Let's check it. Put it back in there. 5 plus 5, is that going to get push this off? 5 plus 5 is 10. Yeah, 10 equals 10. Good. All right. X plus 10 equals 10. Hmm. Minus 10 minus 10. Ah. So it must be 0. X is 0. Does that work? Put it back in there. 0 plus 10. So 0 plus 10 is 10. Yes. Sharks sleep at night. Remember that. Safe to go swimming with them at night. X plus 6 equals 10. Minus 6 minus 6. So X equals 4. Does that work? I don't know. Let's see. Put it back in there. Put the 4 there. 4 plus 6, take the prince off. 4 plus 6 is 10. Yes. Shark says, food please. X plus 2 equals 10. So I'm going to go minus 2, minus 2. So X equals 8. Does that work in there? Put it back in there. 8 plus 2. That's going to be 8 plus 2 is 10. They match again. Yes. Good. X plus 5 equals 10. What are we going to do? Minus 5, minus 5. So we're going to have x equals 5. Does that work? Put it back in there. 5 plus 5. So if the bridge is off, 5 plus 5. Is that going to give you 10? Yes. 10 equals 10. Good. It matches. Equation works. x plus 1 equals 10. So we're going to go what? Minus 1, minus 1. So x equals 9. Does that work? Put it back in there. So on the left side, we have 9 plus 1. Is that going to give you a 10? I don't know. Take the bridges off. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 equals 10. Yes, that works too. Yes, yes, yes. Question number 18. X plus 0 equals 10. So we're going to go minus 0, minus 0. Just do it this way. It's the easiest way. So X equals 10. Hey, so does that work? Put a 10 in there. So 10 plus 0. 10 plus 0 is, yeah, it's 10. Sharks say, swim with me. X plus 4 equals 10. So we're going to do what? We're going to go minus 4 minus 4. So X equals 6. So now we have, put it in there. 6 plus 4, does that work? I don't know. 6 plus 4 is 10. Is 10 equal to 10? Yes, it works. A little food, please, says the chart. Uh, number 20. X plus 9 equals 10. What are you going to do? Minus 9 minus 9. These are gone. So we have x equals 1. Is that going to work in there? I don't know. Put it in there. Parenthesis is 1 plus 9. So 1 plus 9 is 10. Yeah. So does that work? That equation works? Yes. And sharks eat only in the day. So at nighttime, you are safe. Okay, that's question number 20. And then, oh, what? That's all of it. Oh, 
after he finished doing his review, I would take my surfboard, go out to Mustang Island, Padre Island, out there somewhere in the coast, have fun out there. I would do that. Get your, get your surfboard out there. Or if you got lots of extra cash, go to Hawaii. The 40 foot waves out there must, in the North Shore. Yeah, take your surfboard. The waves are pretty big, they might break up your board. But put all your Hawaiian stuff on. That's cool, huh? Put all your Hawaiian stuff in the ocean out there. Your mass shark. Uh, Little smart bird right here, and your decals and your surfboard is broken. That's okay. You can get another one. Get the decals off it, put a new one. So you are your Hawaiian stuff looking down at the ocean. Oh, a little bit of red on your arm. You hurt a little bit. But anyway, Hawaii would be fun to go after you do your math, huh? Oh, math monsters. Nah, they don't scare them. We know how to do some math, right? Some equations. Linear equation. Yep. Yeah. So math is fun. I say, yeah, the math monster doesn't scare us. Oh, these guys are kind of scary still, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Yeah, they're kind of scary, I think. Oh, seven more. Uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Yeah, they're still pretty scary. What's more scary than these guys? Uh, numbers? No, numbers aren't more scary. One, two, three, four, five, seven, seven. Like those seven goes we said. Nah, they're not more scary. Numbers are not more scary. Oh, oh my gosh, how about a giant crunchy one? That's a pretty scary guy to see, huh? What's more scary than that? How about Crunchy 2 and Crunchy 3? Holy cow, look at that. One, two, three. Ah, that'd be more scary. Anyway, good luck. This is Professor Alfredo Garvez, your star 1968 Algebra 1. Good luck. This is Professor Alfredo Garvez again. Again, good luck. This is Professor Alfredo Garvez Jr. saying good luck. Bye.